Hey everyone, welcome back to Silent Tech. In this video, I'll show you how to install Ubuntu in VirtualBox on a Windows PC, a step-by-step -step guide that's easy to follow. So without wasting any time, let's get started. To begin, open your browser and search for VirtualBox. Click on the first link that appears. On the VirtualBox website, download the version for Windows hosts and also grab the extension pack. It's listed right below. Once both files are downloaded, search for Ubuntu, and again, click on the first official link. On the Ubuntu site, accept all cookies if prompted, then scroll down and click the drop-down under Download Ubuntu. Choose Ubuntu Desktop. You'll see two options. One is the long-term support version, and the other offers the latest updates. I usually go with the LTS version for stability. You can check the system requirements on the same page if needed. Then click Download, and the Ubuntu ISO file will begin downloading. While that's downloading, Let's make sure virtualization is enabled on your system. Open Task Manager, go to the Performance tab, and check under the CPU section. If virtualization is enabled, you're good to go. If not, you'll need to restart your system, enter the BIOS, and enable virtualization under the CPU settings. Once the ISO is downloaded, open your File Manager and go to the Downloads folder. Right-click on the VirtualBox installer and choose Run as Administrator. Follow the installation steps. After it's done, VirtualBox will launch automatically. Now switch to Expert Mode. Go back to your Downloads folder, right-click on the Extension Pack, and choose Open. It will launch inside VirtualBox. Click Install, scroll to the bottom, and agree to the terms. Next, click New to create a virtual machine. Name it Ubuntu. By default, VirtualBox installs to the C drive, but if you're low on space, like I am with only 62 GBH free, you can choose another drive. Click the drop-down, select Other, go to T, his PC, double-click your preferred drive, and create a new folder named Ubuntu. Select that folder, set the type to Linux, the version to Ubuntu, 64-bit, and click Finish. Now, let's optimize the settings. Click on Settings, then go to the Advanced tab. Set both Shared Clipboard and Drag and Drop to Bidirectional. In the System tab under Base Memory, allocate RAM, since I have 16 GB, I'll assign 4 GB. In the Processor tab, I'll assign two cores out of my four. Make sure hardware virtualization is enabled under Acceleration. In the Display tab, set the video memory to the maximum and choose VMS VGA as the graphics controller. Under Storage, click on the empty disk under Controller IDE, then click the small disk icon and select the Ubuntu ISO file you downloaded. In the Network tab, make sure it's set to NAT. Once all settings are configured, click OK. Now start the virtual machine. When prompted, hit Enter on Try or Install Ubuntu. After a short wait, Ubuntu will boot into live mode. You can test things out here. When ready, double-click Install Ubuntu. Choose your language and click Continue. On the accessibility screen, select your keyboard layout and test it if needed. Continue again. Ubuntu will ask whether to connect to the internet. If you want to download additional packages, you can connect, but I usually skip this and go offline. Choose Interactive Installation and proceed. You'll now see software options. If you only need basic apps like a browser, stick with the default. If you want office tools or media players, go with the extended selection, but make sure you're connected to the internet for that. I'll stick with the default. Next, you'll see options for graphics and Wi-Fi drivers. I usually skip these, as they don't always work reliably. Now choose the disk for installation. Select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu, then click Continue. Create your user account by entering your name and password. Click Next, select your time zone, and review the installation summary. Click Install to begin. This process will take a while, so be patient. Once it's done, click Restart Now. After rebooting, select your user, enter your password, and you'll be logged into Ubuntu. To enable full screen mode, go to View in the VirtualBox menu and click Full Screen. In the pop-up, choose Switch. If Ubuntu doesn't fill the screen, right-click on the desktop, go to Display Settings, and set the resolution to match your monitor. Apply the changes and confirm. Now Ubuntu is running in full screen mode. You can use the terminal, browse the web, everything works smoothly. To exit full screen, Hover your cursor at the bottom of the screen, click full screen again, and you'll return to Windows. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.